New York is the big apple, all right, but Hamilton is the big donut. Honey glaze, apple fritters, banana cream, we love them all. And no one flogs more donuts in this city than Tim Hortons. It all started right here, the corner of Ottawa North and Dunsmuir, a quarter century ago. Hockey star Tim Horton teamed up with ex-Hamilton cop Ron Joyce and turned the garage into the Tim Horton Donut Drive-In. Five years later, the Donut Dynasty had hit Tim with the opening of a new store in St. Catharines. Uh, strangely, though Tim Horton was a Maple Leaf then, there was not yet a single store in Toronto. But not so strange. We all know that Toronto is a land of fern bars and quiche. Even now, with more than 400 Tim Hortons in Canada and the United States, Greater Hogtown has just eight stores. Hamilton and Burbs have 30 Tim Hortons. We'll puzzle over this city's affair with deep fried dough later. But now, let's step inside. You'll find no bronze plaque on the wall yet to say the Empire started here, but this is the bag they used back then. Horton with his trademark brush cut, banging off three big plain cake donuts. And here's the opening promo from The Spectator, May 15th, 1964. A modest ad for a modest shop. In fact, this is the smallest in the chain. But it still has counter service, and many new ones don't. The veteran waitress here is Florence, whose donut duty began 15 years ago. Now, why did you want a job in a Tim Hortons? I didn't want, uh, well, I hadn't worked for 20 years. Right. And I figured, well, why shouldn't I? <laughs> so, well, I mean, there are, lots, there are lots of jobs out there. Why Tim Hortons, though? Well, right? my son saw this ad in the paper. Okay. And he says, come on, Ma, let's go. OK. So we did. OK. So you started then. Uh, do you remember how much uh, a donut uh, was back then? I don't know whether it was 15 cents or 25. I can't remember. I know a coffee and a donut, I think, was 50 cents. And a coffee and a donut now is? Uh, is a <laughs> What, a coffee and a donut is a dollar, uh, wait a minute, 70 cents for a coffee, $1.30. dollar thirty. Dollar thirty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And a dozen donuts were a dollar sixty-five, now they're four twenty-five. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, uh, what donuts move best? What kind? Uh... Apple fritters go good. Boston cream go good. Um, now, what are... What's the hard part of your job? What, you know, what, I don't what find the... anything hard. I like this job. I like the people here, and I like my job. Uh, That's why I stay so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, what is it about th th that you like about it? Uh, I like everything. Yeah. I really do. I like uh, my job. Now, I mean, some people are nice and some people are not, but the yep. majority of the people in this store are very nice. They are. It's uh, Stavry, and uh, tell me where you're from, Stavry. I am from Yugoslavia, Macedonian province. Okay. When did you come to Canada? I came in 10 years ago. It was 10 years ago? Yes. How many times you come since? Uh, every day, one time. Every day? But sometimes, every day, but sometimes no. If yeah. I'm busy home, some. Okay. Now, uh, where do you live now? Now i living in the mountain. So, mountain, mountain, mountain. Okay, there are Tim Hortons up on the mountain. What are you doing down here? I come in here because I have friends. That first store is now owned by ex Cat Dave Sove. In fact, some think the Horton ownership ranks are all old athletes and cops. Not so. Meet high-octane Rita Cruz, owner of three franchises. Did you get started? You were a person on your own? A person on my own, single mother. Uh, looking for something more to do and um, that's what I ended up doing. I went to Tim Horton Training Center, which is a donut the school. Donut school, donut, donut college. School, uh, donut college. Specifically, tell me specifics of what you did at, at Donut at College. At Donut College, uh, yeah. 12 weeks of straight night shift. Uh, six weeks of straight donut baking, 80 pounds of donuts a night. I have to bear in mind, <laughs> well, 80 pounds well, what, of... How many donuts is that? Uh, probably about... 5,000. How, how do muffins versus donuts, how do they stack up? Well, muffins probably are taking the lead, and that's because everybody is becoming far more health conscious in the 90s. And I find that muffins in my three locations 
are definitely surpassing donuts. You're selling more muffins. I'm selling more muffins, especially the oat bran and whole wheat carrot, things like that. More muffins. You're going to have to change the sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why are they why are they coming here and why are donuts big in Hamilton? Uh, in Hamilton, mm -hmm. I think that donuts are big because it's um, it's a reasonable, inexpensive way to go out and for the average family or average person to go out and have entertainment. Um, it's entertainment to sit down sure, and have a for the for the for the for the regular customers, yeah, because they all meet their friends. They come in and hi Joe, hi Sam, you know, and everybody meets everybody. And they and what happens is 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 he, one person might be a regular by themselves, and another person over here might be a regular by their their self. And the two of them meet, and now yep. they've got a new friendship. And I think that that's we've always been called the friend along the way. And this store was originally built by Mr. Joyce, Ron right. Joyce, who owns Tim Donut, right. and Tim Horton himself. Okay. They actually, when I say originally built by them, I mean that they actually built the store. They dug the trenches and they put the blocks together, and and they they dug the store. And one time at a convention, Mr. Joyce told a funny story about how. Him and Tim were down there, and they were, you know, up to their elbows in cement and blocks and everything. And the, the teacher from across the road was taking, she was taking the students on an outing, and they were just little students. And there was Mr. Joyce and Tim Horton um, building the store, building the actual store. And she stopped at the children, and she said, "See, children, if you don't keep up your marks in school, you're going to end up digging ditches, just like these yeah. men." <laughs>